ముందుగా ప్రియమైన విద్యార్థి విద్యార్థులకు మరియు వారి తల్లిదండ్రులకు నమస్కారం నా పేరు కె వెంకన్న కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ చైర్మన్ నేను ఈ రోజు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ విద్యార్థులను దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని మాట్లాడడం జరుగుతుంది అది ఏమిటనగా మనందరికీ తెలుసు గత రెండు సంవత్సరాలుగా కరోనా కారణంగా విద్యార్థులు ఎటువంటి పరీక్షలు రాయకుండానే పై తరగతులు పంపడం జరుగుతుంది ఫలితంగా ఐఐటి జేఈ మరియు నీట్ లాంటి జాతీయ స్థాయి పరీక్షలను సాధించడం కష్టతరం అవుతుంది దీనిని అధిగమించడానికి మరియు పదో తరగతి పరీక్షలో అత్యధిక మార్కులు సాధించడానికి నేను మీ ముందుకు కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ద్వారా అనుభవజ్ఞులైన అధ్యాపకులచే ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ మరియు గత ప్రశ్న పత్రాల సమాధానాలను విశ్లేషణ ఇవ్వబడును కాబట్టి నేను విద్యార్థులకు చెప్పదలుచుకున్నది ఏంటంటే ఈ ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులను మరియు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ లను క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో కూర్చొని చదువుకున్నంత సీరియస్ చదువుకోవాలను ఇంకొకటి ఏమిటనగా ఈ యొక్క క్లాసులు విన్న వెంటనే అర్థం చేసుకుని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయవలను ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం అంటే కేవలం చదవడం కాదు పేపర్ మీద రాయవలను అలాగైతే గుర్తుండిపోతుంది దీంతో పాటు మీ యొక్క నాలెడ్జ్ ని పరీక్షించుకున్న కొరకు త్వరలో ప్రీ ఫైనల్ పరీక్షలు కూడా నిర్వహించబడు ఈ యొక్క అవకాశాన్ని సద్వినియోగం చేసుకోవాలని టెన్త్ చదివి విద్యార్థులకు విజ్ఞప్తి చేస్తున్నాను హలో మై డియర్ చిల్డ్రన్ earlier we studied about that ray diagrams for a convex mirror ray diagram we are drawing and it is very happy uh, to see that while drawing the diagram in the beginning it, it may be a, a little bit tough but later on while we are practicing the ray diagram if we follow certain rules what i said about the th- three rules then easily you can draw that diagram all the ray diagrams you can draw but now we are going into that the mirror formula then in this mirror formula we are going to use that a mirror formula and basing on this mirror formula we are going to see uh, the different kind of the problems this mirror formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v this is that the mirror formula what we know in this mirror formula let a little bit we go in this the details of that then then we can go for the sign convention there we are taking here f is what focal length there we can take second one there we can take all right here then you can understand very clearly this is that object distance and there we are taking v image distance this is image distance focal length object distance and image distance using that all we are getting that what 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v in this year simply we are getting that we are using the formula sometimes they are writing that f and uh, here plus and here also here plus only but for all this there is a meaning for in in sign convention we are going to learn about that only while drawing the diagrams compulsorily these all are the vectors only we have to consider its direction also no even though it seems to be the distances only length uh, of the focal point and distance of an object distance of an image it seems to be the distance and the scale are but there light ray which side the light ray is traveling and to which side it is focusing basing on the direction of the light ray there we have to observe what uh, very clearly that um the direction of the light ray decides how the uh, image can be formed that only we are uh, taking that all this kind of the image formation and it's the sign conventions basing on the sign convention let us see about the sign convention and not only for this formula we can use for any kind of the formula while doing these problems those are very helpful for us okay let us see in this sign convention what is a sign convention now let us first decide what is that sign convention sign mean the symbol 
plus or minus which sign we have to use for what kind of the variable convention means this sign convention makes us to be convenient to apply that a different kind of the values whether basing on the direction of the light ray and this convenient convenience of the application of the plus or minus signs for each term that is considered as the sign convention here. And let us see this sign convention how we can apply to for the calculation purpose or in the formula also. Let us go that one by one first one the sign convention in that the first one and all measures what measures are there in this all measures are to be made are to be made from pole all measures are to be made from pole let us take that one concave mirror there we are taking concave mirror there we can take what a principal axis here it is a pole and here it is f and here it is c there we can play we can see that one object there we are taking it as oj is the object and there from here we can draw that any one rule we are applying i am applying the rule first rule that is an incident ray parallel to the principal axis we know that after reflection it passes through the focal point this is that reflected ray and we have to draw that one more then through that focal point when we draw one more ray through the focal point it hits this uh, mirror and returns back and their image will be formed I am taking that the C somewhat conveniently here the letter so that you can understand oh this is that point where these two intersect at what a point when we draw that a perpendicular line this is formed the image is formed where does it image form between C and F that already we have seen C and F that is we have we checked already here now there what is that uh, uh, the different distances here whatever the measures we make we have to make always from P we cannot make from that C we cannot make from F there is a reference point that is what that is only the P here we have to observe. Now this is that the primary rule second one if the measures are made the distances distances measured in the direction of in the direction of incident ray in the direction of incident ray hello students my name is r k pandey i have done my btech from it kanpur from electrical engineering i am i teach chemistry in k venkana classes i head the chemistry department the main facility of k venkana classes is the all the faculty are from are very rich in experience and they have taught students who have secured single and double digits they have got very good ranks in jee and neat so if you are serious for your career and if you want to pursue your career in engineering or medical you are surely welcome here the facilities includes not only the top uh, teachers but the other facilities like doubt clearing sessions and other academic as well as personal treatment that is provided by this institute this institute this is r this is r r to be considered to be considered as positive to be considered as positive see that here this is we have to remember this in the direction 
in the direction of incident ray then it is considered as what as positive see that whatever the measures we are making here if you make this measure from here in the direction of incident ray then it is considered as positive what is this distance here what we have the denotion will give for this distance we have to indicate it as u suppose we are making this measurement for this concave mirror p if you take here from here we have to measure that all the measures because we are measuring from p to object in what direction we are measuring from from p we are measuring towards that object this is the opposite direction of u this measures what we are we are taking from p towards that that we are making that measure in opposite direction of incident ray that's why what we have to consider for this kind of uh, one for concave for concave mirror u is what u is negative for concave mirror this is the concave mirror u will become negative and for convex mirror basing on that we have to take else 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 means what otherwise 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 means what that is not in the direction of the incident ray but in opposite direction that is the measure otherwise it is what it is negative otherwise it is negative otherwise means for if it is measured in opposite direction of the incident ray it will become it will become negative because here we are measuring this no in opposite direction of the incident ray that's why here what we are taking it is that minus we are taking minus u we are taking not plus no and let us take that now the third one third point what is the third point what is it the third point here we are measuring not only here we are measuring above the principal axis and below the principal axis if the measures are made measures are made above the principal axis it is considered it is considered it is considered as positive it is considered as positive for this concave mirror for concave mirror for concave mirror not only concave mirror whatever it may be the convex mirror also if it is above the principal axis we can denote this as what this as ho means height of the object this is we have to take it as what plus ho else if it is means otherwise it is it is negative otherwise it is negative means for concave mirror what is the height of the image for this height of the image is considered as minus h minus hi means height of the image these are the three rules what we have to remember these are the three rules what we have to remember while considering any kind of uh, the what is that the reactions whatever we make okay in this once again we'll see we are using this formula mirror formula to use in this mirror formula all these terms f u and v there we have to remember all this kind of the rules one is what all measures are to be made from pole second one is what distance measured in the direction of the incident ray is considered as positive but if you make these measures in the opposite direction of incident ray that is considered as negative 
Next we go for that heights. This is about the heights. Now, this is any kind of the measure, but the second point it explains about the distances and third point is about what? About heights. What are these distances for what we have to make? U, V, F. For heights what we have to consider? H O and H I. For that we are taking this kind of the rules. Okay? Now, if we, we know that how to use this all in our measure, then it will be easy for us to solve any kind of the problems. Then these uh, problems and uh, will become very, very, very useful when we follow this sign convention. We will close here now and whatever the measures you are making, this all we can do that and properly and positively and otherwise a simple minus sign instead of plus sign changes the total value. That spoils that total the paper, that answer. That is why just be careful to understand the sign convention. Okay? And we consider, we concentrate on these rules while doing the problems. Next we are going to see that kind of the problems only after studying about that magnification also in our next video. We will consider, we can cons concentrate on this and whatever the derivations and what those are there for that mirror formula we are not doing because very rarely the derivations that they ask, sometimes they may not ask also that is why I am not explaining the derivation and here we concentrate on that sign convention only for solutions for the problems basing on this mirror formula. Okay? And I hope you understood all this, the video and whatever we consider, what kind of the reactions are there and this all you can give your response to us. We close this video now at this position and so that we can understand the next step, we will go for that next step. Okay? And let us see now the uh, all these all the sign convention. We can take the screenshot and we are giving that the screenshot also that the finally at last whatever uh, the points you can remember for that also we are taking that the screenshot. Okay? I hope you understood and we will close this video here. Thank you very much for watching.